If you have ADHD, you should watch this video to the end. Swimming has helped me to deal and live my life with ADHD and seeing it as a gift rather than a burden. People with ADHD often seem to have too much energy, resulting in fidgety, restless behavior. Swimming is a fantastic way to release this excess energy as it helps with the lack of focus and impulsivity seen in people with ADHD. Additionally, during rigorous exercise such as swimming, their brains release chemicals called neurotransmitters. One of the neurotransmitters released is dopamine, which is involved with attention and focus in the brain. Interestingly, medications used to treat ADHD often work by increasing the same chemical, dopamine, in the brain. Hence, swimming can be a natural method for, for those people to increase their attention spans. Team sports are difficult for people with ADHD. In team sports, it is important to maintain focus and awareness on not only their own roles, but also those of other players. Swimming is one of the best sports for people with ADHD. This is because there are few opportunities for distraction, no physical contact with others, and low complexity of rules and strategies. As swimming is a sport with individualized participation, it provides children with all the energy release and endorphins of physically rigorous activity without the challenges of the disorder including heightened distraction and decreased spatial awareness. Here are six struggles that and people with ADHD are able to deal with basis. all this and you see ADHD on energy is very intensely and, and you can't let go of it. So if there's a weird fight in the room, or a weird fight with somebody, you can continue what you're doing until it's fixed. Things will leave your mind as soon as it comes into it, and you physically cannot have anyone around you speaking if you're trying to concentrate. If you're having a one-on-one -on -one with somebody, it's literally impossible not to dart your eyes around looking at every single thing around you to the point you don't even notice, but they do and they usually get pissed off cause they think you're not paying attention. Literally hundreds of things pop into your head at the same time to the point where you can start to catastrophize, feel like you're falling behind on your to-do list. You don't know how to prioritize like a normal person so you end up frozen, not doing any of it and feeling so bad about yourself. People always get so pissed off at you saying the same thing to you over and over and over, like instructions, but unless it becomes habit, or it means something to you, or you know something inside out, you can't retain the information. As much as you crave social situations like 80% of the time, there's also times you'd rather die than speak to anybody, but you've created this expectation for yourself that you think other people have of you to be like the life and soul of the party, be fun, be chatty. So one of the days when you're not feeling that way, you feel this intense, crippling anxiety going into these situations, thinking other people expect that of you when realistically no one gives a fly apart from you. And only though swimming I was able to deal with all this and see ADHD as a gift and superpower.